In the case of the next talk, it's about the relationship between music and leadership. So please welcome the CEO of Doberman, Lisa Lindström. Thank you. And also welcome to my two guests. We have uh, Eva Hillred. You are, yes. <laughs> a brilliant singer songwriter and also an entrepreneur of a startup uh, called Songskolan på Nete. Do you have an English name for it? Uh, singing School on Internet. Singing School Actually, on Internet. It's very simple to translate. <laughs> But and still only a, a Swedish version. Oh, so you don't it. have it in English? No, not yet. It's in coming. I'm hoping for yeah. that. Yeah. And also welcome Helene Barnikov. You are the... <laughs> yes? <laughs> uh, you're the CEO of a pretty big Swedish company called Telia. Correct, yes, pretty big. And you've been running it for a year. <laughs> yes. How do you feel? Um, excited, humbled. It is a big company uh, and we are on a huge uh, change journey, which is exciting, but also humbling. How big are you? We are, if you only take the Swedish operations, which is my area of responsibility, we're about 6,700 people. And we are close to uh, or approximately half of the profit of the whole Telia company. So from a numbers perspective, it's also a very big impact. And I'm so excited to have you here because this is a theme that I've been thinking about a lot for, I think, the last five years. And um, every day I meet with leaders who are trying to uh, handle this huge complexity that's out there now in running a company or a big organization. We have the globalization and digitalization and the users are expecting different things. And then on top of that, we need to add a little bit more of sustainability or you know, different financial conditions. And, and there you are, <laughs> as a leader, <laughs> supposed to cope with that and create innovation. <laughs> and I've just been thinking that must be so hard. How can you as a leader cope with that? Uh, and then I start to think, what if we need to use our musicality more? What if the success could come from listen and play with your teams? And that's what I would like to, to explore with you. So first, Eva, how would you describe musicality? Musicality is something we were born with and it starts so early, so it's uh, already in the uterus. I mean, that's the way we connect to the outer world, really. Uh, we hear sound, really, I think we are four months old or something, as a, a small, small, yeah, I don't even know what you call it. But then we learn the language uh, through musicality. It's, we, we have the ability to hear rhythm, melody, pulse, and we relate to that. And we also express ourselves through sound. So I think musicality is really vital. Uh, for, for human beings, we we need to express ourselves through sounds, and after a while, we attach a meaning to the sounds, and we imitate to learn the language. It's all because of the musicality we can do that. Mm -hmm. But it's not that often we talk about musicality and leadership, do we? No, maybe I, I do, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a musician, so so for me, it's uh, uh, you can use music in so many ways. And I think listening, as you said, is basic. That's, that's so important in music. You, you can't do anything, any music activity without listening a lot. Um, and, and be very present also. You have to be in the, in the now. Uh, and it involves, musicality involves, I think it's the right side of the brain, we say, but it also, the activity, when you actually perform music or sing, uh, it's been proven that it engages the, so many parts of the brain at the same time. So most mm. people feel in the now totally and whole kind of. Mm. It's, it's, mm. It creates a little magic to sing or to, to um, perform, to play. I, I agree. Did you put musicality on your CV when you were hired? <laughs> mm, I'm not sure I would be hired for my musicality skills. I doubt that. No, I didn't put that on my CV. But I think it's, it's, it's very interesting. We ended up talking pretty quickly out there. But coming over here, I was thinking of, I represent a company that is 163 years old. So I was just thinking, 163 years ago, how much would music and, and communicate, telco has to do with each other? 
probably nothing. They probably didn't even go to the same room to meet, right? But with the whole digitalization and the whole disruption, we are actually now very close. So music is about sharing and, and everything I do is about sharing and, and connecting. And I think that actually opens up when you talk about how do you actually innovate in this space? How do you lead in this space? How do you connect with your, with your groups of people in this space? How do you, I think we are now very, we work very closely with many players in the music industry. So I think with the, actually maybe ironically with technology <laughs> and because of digital disruption, music is playing a much bigger role in I think everybody's lives, including how you, how you lead. Um, we just will, we'll get to maybe the, the deeper question soon, but I'm, I'm thinking of, um, we did a, our biggest campaign ever, where we connected to our social responsibility, which is hate, hate. So we're working with friends. And it was very much created around a song that we then used in the campaign. And, and some of you may have heard it, but maybe as big of a win was the internal movement mm -hmm. That we had all these concerts all over the offices. We was everybody was singing, oh. uh, singing for lunchtime. We were singing heart to heart, and it became an internal movement. And then you're proud because you you take a stand, you have a joint purpose, and you use music in that. And that's at a very pretty simple level. And I know your level is much more sophisticated. <laughs> no, I don't know. But I, I think it's I think it's it, there's a connection point there. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fantastic way to get people to connect. Yeah. So maybe then all people at Telia should use your app to, yeah. <laughs> to, to start to learn how to sing. Yeah. Yeah, or could can, that yeah. yeah, I think I mean, there's learn. so many ways. I think uh, and, and creativity and, and musicality, they live kind of door to door. And, and uh, you know, you, you can find, you can uh, invent new things to, to add m more music, I think, to, mm. to working spaces and to teams. And, and you have much more fun. So and you we connect in a different way. We heard in the panel before that the demand for creativity and creative industries is higher and higher, and that's also what you're yeah. talking about, Helene. Is there uh, then more important for managers today uh, to to find different ways of leading? And in what you know, how can we train that? How can we foster that change? Do you have any clues? I. I well, I think that's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> if I can start from my perspective and, and add to that, actually. I think that's maybe your most important role is actually to do exactly that. Because if we talk mm -hmm. about industries being so disrupted, the only thing you know is that you have to find new ways of doing it that resonates with your customers and resonates with the people in your team. And the previous ways didn't, don't resonate any longer. So mm -hmm. I think maybe that's, if you need to single out one thing as a leader, that's probably the one. How do you lead in, in that way? And I, um, I'm a big believer that um, in the corporate world, not the music world, but in the corporate world, there's a lot of, a lot of PowerPoints. And I'm a big believer <laughs> yes. that nothing changes with a PowerPoint. Nothing in the whole world has ever changed because of PowerPoint. It changes because you do something. Yeah. And I'm a strong believer of that. And we talked before about something we tried in, uh, because we're in a big journey of changing our culture, evolving our culture. And um, we did something we called a boost because we didn't want to call it training because it's not really training. And I was telling Eva how we actually had 250 of our top managers uh, being brought together. They didn't know what to expect. And they actually, had, we had a music, Eva Bitt Egate was there, and she trained us in playing violin. So I would great. say that 90% had never, they were scared when they got into that room, had never touched a violin. And they all, we have taped it, and after two hours, it was absolute, it was beautiful. And wow. people stood up and sang, they did solos in there, they had never done a solo in their life. And, and we, it was, it was very emotional, actually. It was very emotional. We could never have achieved that with a Through typical a PowerPoint. linear PowerPoint <laughs> training. None no of that way. would have happened. No. We were also discussing um, about hierarchy. And, and you said to me, Eva, but there are no hierarchies when you play music mm. together. No. no, there are not. You just have to be a very good part. And if you play in a group, for example, every part is really important. You couldn't say, okay, we skip the bass now, he's so bad. You know, if you, the, you, you need the bass, you need every part. And we just have to listen and be very attentive and try our best to do something beautiful together. And it's the same in singing. It's totally equal somehow, or, you know, we, we, we relate to each other on a very kind of basic level just to be 
somehow. We, we, we are in the music together, and together we, we do our very best. And so it doesn't work really very well, I think, to, to have a hierarchy. So maybe that's what happened with your 250 people who yes. played well together, that yeah. there were no hierarchies. Yes. Yeah, I, I think that's one of the... Uh, I think I need to hire you, Eva, to yeah, come okay. and help me. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> because I think if you, if you come back to where you started um, on the whole change and disruption and complexity, Lisa, um, one of the things that we, we still have in Sweden, uh, I mean, all over the world, but Sweden maybe could have come a bit further because we have maybe a bit, I mean, if now we're generalized, but it, we are quite a democratic and, mm -hmm. and consensus and collaborative society if you compare with, with some other structures of societies. And, and still, in terms of organizational model, we're still very hierarchical. Yeah. You have a hierarchy in, in almost in all larger corporations because mm -hmm. you haven't figured out how else to do it. Mm -hmm. And I've said many times to my team, if I didn't have to have a hierarchy, I wouldn't have one because I really think they get in your way in the, in the, in the, in the new world or in the modern world. And, but we haven't found, how do we do it instead? Yeah. And maybe, maybe um, honestly, maybe, maybe you have the answer for us. Because, how, because you find purpose and you find meaning and everybody knows, of, because you have to know, what are you contributing to? Yeah, absolutely. What song are you part of? Yeah. Singing, the, the creating music, the goal, yeah. and what is your part to make that yeah. sound beautiful? Uh, without being in a hierarchical way, so I um, there I is a difference between. This before, but this I'm might sorry. be a really. <laughs> but it's a big difference be between a hierarchy and a role. Yes. Like I'm the yes. violin player, or yeah. I sing this part. You know, that's very different. Big difference. Uh, so, so because I think hierarchy uh, creates fear very easily, mm -hmm. and you don't dare to go step outside. You know, you're more. Yeah. Uh, scared, I think, in a hierarchy. Yes. You don't feel that, okay, I can bloom here, I can yes. improvise, I can maybe got an idea and I can yes. say it out loud. I think it, it kind of limits people it, a I lot. Think, I think you're absolutely yeah. right. I think it has that uh, unwanted effect of yeah. limitation. And when yeah. it was once created, the world didn't look like this, right? Mm. It was a very yeah. different um, mm. society as well. So I... Um, I'll come and uh, d dig into that. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that I've been thinking about is innovation. Everyone is talking about innovation and you need to be disruptive and you need to you know, be a change maker. And, and very often uh, we talk about failing fast. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of dislike that because no one wants to fail. You want to learn fast. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the connection here to musicality is I've been thinking about improvising. Do you ever say when you improvise that you failed? Mm -hmm. Or did, you, know, or did you say that you're building on each other? Or you know, can you elaborate a little bit on, on innovation and improvisation? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the ideas that come to you, if you want to make something, you want to create something, and, and you don't know, you just have this vague idea, because ideas are more like a raw material, I think. They just, you feel it, and then you have this idea. And then you have to improvise, I think, in order to find the form for this idea. And it's a process where you have to go the wrong direction, uh, direction sometimes, because you will hear it. Oh, no, that's not what we're looking for. But that's a way to kind of find to, to, to find the form for the idea, I think, for the innovation, if you want to create something new. So and would you say everyone hears mm -hmm. when it's wrong? Well, that's a hard <laughs> question. <laughs> I don't know, really. But, but mostly, I mean, I compare it to songwriting, that we always, uh, when I teach songwriting, we used to say that the, we have to listen what is the best for the song. Uh, and and we, then we have to try all the ideas that pops up in our head. And most of the time, if I co-write a song, for example, we both hear. It doesn't matter if it was my idea or the, mm. the co-writer's idea, but we will hear what makes this song the very best. And that's our common goal. So it doesn't matter, really. But we will try a lot of different things, and we do it by improvisation or following the, the flow of ideas. So I think improvisation, and then it's no danger, you know, to do something wrong in that situation. If you have a huge budget and mm. you, you put a lot of money into something, of course it's a bit harder to fail. But can you? Can, can you do can, well, I, what Eva is talking <laughs> about? <laughs> I think you have to. I think you're right. I think there are analogies there as well. You, I think you have to, and it's, and it's not easy. So, so it's easy to say, but, but I, 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 I'm with you. 
I do not like when you say fail fast, uh, for two reasons. Firstly, um, that only applies in certain situations. Like if you say, okay, I'm gonna go and do, a, I'm gonna pilot something. Yeah, of course, do it quickly, so, so we know quickly if it works or not, so we don't spend time, but it's a very specific situation. Plus, it implies something negative, actually. Mm. Um, learning fast, or you say low, co low cost of trying or something, those are things that are relevant, but even if you look at a uh, business like, like Telia, yeah, we can try something in the TV area and see if the customers didn't like it, we can roll it back. But nobody wants us to fail fast in the network. If the network is down for a day, you're not going to say, great, you failed pretty fast. It could have taken a week. So, <laughs> so no, it's not going to happen. So, so I think it's, it's a very easy way to, get, to figure out your innovation uh, headlines, which I think is not so true. So I think you need to be much more granular. I think um, one of the words I use a lot, which I think is very similar to what you said, to always stay tuned in. Mm, I think okay. we, live, we live in an era where you have to be tuned in. There is no such thing as taking the office on, on, the, on the top floor and staying in there and coming pe have people to come and meet you and then you go out at the end of the day and you're happy. You have to stay so tuned in mm. uh, to be close to any innovation, I think. And I think then it's very similar to what you're saying, actually. You're tuned in and you pick things up, whether it's from customers or your team members. But if you're super stressed, then you have you know, all these demands. Mm. How do you tune in? You're super stressed. You cannot. <laughs> how do you, you are do, super as stressed. a person, how do you do that? I have to do some breathing exercises, yes, yes. folks. <laughs> is that how you do that's, it? That's breathing yeah. is a very good. Do you know Ariana Huffington? Yes. She's a very exciting uh, female yes. leader, and she she does that a lot. And, and she lets people on her job take naps also. She has a nap yeah. room. <laughs> Oh, and they cannot. Okay, so you need to breathe, you need idea. to take a nap <laughs> yeah. to become more innovative. This is great. What else do we do? How, how do we tune in? Maybe singing would be good yeah. too, to, to come into the body and to let go of the mind because we think everything, you know, a, a good idea needs to kind of rest and, and mature. You can't. You can be creative for a certain amount of time yes. and then you need to rest for yes. a little can while. Can we try that? The course. singing? Yeah, the singing. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, can we, can we, would you like to try? Yeah, yes. I, I think okay. it would be so great if we could make a team here and, and that you could uh, experience how it feels if we sing together. And what do you say about it? Yeah, they already <laughs> said yes. <laughs> it's so funny because when I sing, most people, many people say, oh, no, I can't sing. But singing and talking is very, very close. So I will just do a very simple exercise and we'll start by talking. Do you like to stand up? Yes. Good. We need to tune <laughs> in with our bodies. Yes. Okay. So I will just say an ah, and then you will just im im uh, mimic me. No, how, how do you say? Imitate. No. Imitate, imitate you. Imitate. Yeah, imitate me. I'm sorry. So I just say ah, and then I do this, and you say ah. So I say first ah. 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 Very good. And now the difference between, that wasn't very hard, but the difference between talking and singing is just you hold a vowel. So I will hold this A ah for long and then we're singing. And then you'll do the same, okay? Ah. And now you do it. I just want you to do the same thing, but also be aware, really listen to yourself and to the others. And you hold it, you held it very, very long. I'm impressed because I held my hands like this and you follow me like I was the conductor. And I didn't have to tell you that. That's also something that just happens naturally. So now, next note we do, you hold as long as you have air. And you just try to open up your ears and listen to yourself and to the others. Okay, so I take the note. I won't hold it very long, but you should hold it as long as you can. Okay. Uh, uh,
Wonderful. It was very simple, but I think we totally changed the atmosphere. Yes. I don't know if you agree, but something else happened. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Some I mean, people here too. Yes, I would love to be working with you guys. <laughs> I feel like no, but there was a true collaboration going on here, yeah. and we also connected. So I'm thinking, you know, if, if this was the team that we were going to collaborate with. We have a pretty good start here. It's a very good start. <gasps> yeah. yeah. So, so Helene, could you could this be the way that you start up your your management meetings? I um, I'm I'm completely <laughs> impressed. I might have to change some managers for singers. No, I'm kidding. No, I, I I yes, I think so. I think and I think you are. Um, I think you're right when you talk about breathing and I, I think mindfulness. Um, in different f forms has a lot to do both with leadership and collaboration and creativity uh, because it doesn't come because you spend enough hours. It happens because it happens inside of you and you're there yeah. and you're present and you're connecting with the ideas and people. So I, um, I hadn't thought of, we had, we had done the, the, uh, the violin and the orchestra, I hadn't thought of this thing in, so I will definitely take this with me. I, I, and you can feel it, you can feel it in the, in the atmosphere when you stand yeah. up here. It's hmm. remarkable. Yeah, it yeah. changes everything. Remarkable. Yes, it changes everything. Yeah. And yeah. We, we now have a new connection with the audience, which is mm. also something yes. we broadcast a lot yes. as leaders today. And again, the PowerPoints may not be working, but <laughs> this, you know, working with you like this is something else if we're talking about faster change as well. Like, how can we skip the screams yeah. <laughs> and move faster and, yeah. into some real work. We also step out from our comfort zone yeah. a little bit, so we are more open and more, you know, we don't have our all, we, we don't have time to think so much, oh, who is this person? Mm -hmm. You know, we just <laughs> get together yeah. very, very fast and very simple. It doesn't need to be very complicated, like I, we did in one note. And, uh, so yeah. now when I have you here and we're all aligned, um, can we talk about something even more important? Can this be a way also to help our society? Is there a way for leaders uh, to actually connect with uh, citizens or, mm. you know, how could that be used in a bigger picture? Oh, <laughs> you need to I drink like big, to Eva. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love to, to have choirs all over the, you know, mm. there should be like a drop-in choir every <laughs> block. Mm. Like, a, or just go and sing together, you know, uh, that would be lovely. Here and there, mm. all over the city. That yeah, I, I remember I was in Estonia once, and in Tallinn they have the, this huge stadium, and it's a singing stadium. It's not wow. a sports stadium, it's really? a singing stadium. I was amazed, wow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it could be also physical manifestations of here's where you sing. Yeah. It's a great idea. So, and, I, and I'm connecting it to another thought that is very high on our agenda, which is that diversity. Um, and I think think that doesn't matter where, whether it's society or if it's in organization and corporates, which is it's so important because we know it stimulates creativity and it creates better groups. We know all of these stats, but, but sometimes when you bring it together, it doesn't connect immediately because you do come from different, different yeah. comes of mind. So just, just en enhancing and facilitating mm. diverse groups, it can be, I think it can be extremely uh, effective yeah. because this is a group that is completely unconnected and you felt the difference in two minutes. Yeah. So will we now start to see music education also in higher management school and mm. schools of engineering, mm. as we heard before? Do you think that would be like a mandatory subject after this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. That would be lovely. Uh, I mean, you, you also, it's so enjoyable. You know, it's like many things we do because we have to, we should be good and we should mm. be, you know, like good. Okay, I do my running and I do everything kind of harsh, but, but singing gives such a joy and, and also playing in the moment. It's really fun and it's very beneficial at the same time. So it's a little bit for me right now, it feels like, hmm, maybe the world's most complex issues could be uh, solved in a fun way. <laughs> and, then, and then it feels very hopeful if that's yeah. you know, what yeah. we're looking for. Mm -hmm. If you were to give uh, this audience one piece of advice just to, to sum up, what would you like to tell them? Sing and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> and Helene, would you like to? So, <laughs> well, I guess I have to say, bring singing into any, any organization, any team. Bring singing into any mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I'm, 
I'm, I'm a believer after seeing and hearing <laughs> you, Eva. So thank you both. This has thank been you. so interesting. And thank you, audience, for participating in, in this session. Thank you.